Hi children. Today we're going to read a Peppa Pig book called Peppa and the Christmas Elf. Subscribe to my channel, press that red button below and follow me where you'll find even more Peppa Pig books in my collection. I have hundreds and hundreds of Peppa Pig books on my channel so do check them all out. Now let's begin. Peppa and the Christmas Elf. Get that ready. It was Christmas Eve and Pepper and George were making cookies for Santa with Granny and Grandpa Pig. Are we being helpful? asked Pepper, whipping the spoon around and getting mixture everywhere. Oh yes, said Grandpa Pig. You're wonderful helpers. We're like Santa's elves. George, said Pepper. George giggled. Kiss my sails. <laughs> Slodge, splodge, splat. I wish I could meet an elf, said Peppa. I bet they love adventures. Yes, agreed Grandpa Pig. Granny Pig told Peppa and George that as they stirred the mixture, they could make a special Christmas wish. Christmas dinosaur, cried George. Shh, George, whispered Peppa. You're not supposed to tell anyone your wish. George wished for a Christmas dinosaur and Pepper wished for an adventure with a Christmas elf. Did you hear that? Jingle, jingle, asked Pepper. It was jingly sound coming from outside. I think my wish has come true. Shall we go and see? said Granny Pig. Ah, look at that, said Grandpa Pig when they got outside. There's an owl in the, in the Christmas tree jingling the bells. Oh, said Peppa, sighing, that's not my Christmas wish. Never mind, said Granny Pig. I'm sure you'll get your wish soon. Just then, there was another sound. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. Do you see the owl? The owl's over there, jingling. Daddy, cheered Peppa and George. Mummy and Daddy Pig had arrived to pick them up. Are you ready to ride the Christmas train, said Daddy Pig. Yes, cried Pepper and George. Have fun, said Granny Pig, waving goodbye. We'll see you later for our Christmas sleepover. As Daddy Pig started the car's engine, Pepper spotted something red peeking out from behind a tree. Look, she cried, pointing. A Christmas elf. Mommy Pig turned around. Ah, it's a little robin, she said. Santa has lots of elves, said Pepper. They can't all be at his workshop, can they? Probably not. Maybe you did see one, said Daddy Pig, winking. Right, let's go to the Christmas train. Choo-choo, cheered George. When they arrived at the Christmas train platform, Pepper and George were very excited. The train was decorated with lots of twinkly fairy lights. All aboard the Christmas train, Miss Rabbit called out. First stop, the Christmas Helter Skelter. Hooray, cheers, everyone. Choo-choo, said George. At the Helter Skelter, Pepper looked up and spotted a red hat in one of the windows. Find you, Christmas Elf, she cried. But when Mummy and Daddy Pig looked up, all they saw was Molly Mole wearing a little red hat. Merry Christmas, Pepper, cried Molly. Oh, Merry Christmas, Molly, replied Pepper. Everyone had lots of helter-skelter fun, but soon it was time to move on. Follow me to the Christmas Ferris wheel, called Miss Rabbit. Right at the very top of the Ferris wheel, Pepper spotted something in a little red hat. Found you, Christmas elf, she cried. But when Mummy Pig looked, all she saw was Mr. Bull wearing a little red hat. At the gingerbread workshops, Pepper spotted the Christmas elf behind the gingerbread house. Found you, Christmas elf, she said. Look, Daddy. But when Daddy Pig looked, all he saw was a gingerbread house with a little red hat on the top of it. The final Christmas activity was the sledging hill. As Daddy Pig and George whizzed off, Pepper spotted the elf sledging too. Follow that elf, Mummy, she cried. Pepper and Mummy Pig set off. The sledge raced down the hill. The sledge was going so fast, Mummy Pig couldn't stop it. Ah, she cried as she 
speeding slaves zoomed up into the air and landed. Oh. In a snow elf. Sploosh. Who put that there? Said Mommy Pig, covered head to toe in snow. It wasn't me, Mommy Pig, said Daddy Pig. It must have been the Christmas elf. Anyway, time to go, said Daddy Pig. Granny and Grandpa Pig will be waiting for us. Yippee, cheered Pepper and George. When Pepper and George got back to Granny and Grandpa Pig's house, they put out some cookies for Santa and they got ready for bed. Peppa told them all about her adventure with the elf, but I didn't even get to talk to the elf, she said. Time to sleep, little ones, said Granny Pig. May all your Christmas wishes come true. But Pepper and George didn't hear. They were already fast asleep. Very early on Christmas morning, Pepper and George ran in, in to wake up Mommy and Daddy Pig. Boing, boing. They ran into Granny and Grandpa Pig's bedroom and woke them up too. They all headed downstairs to find Santa had left presents for everyone. Christmas, dinosaur, cheered George. His Christmas wish had come true. Suddenly, Peppa hears a sound. Jingle, jingle. She looked up. Right at the top of the tree was a toy. Christmas elf, Peppa cried, jumping up and down. Peppa cuddled the Christmas elf. Thank you for the adventure, she whispered. Peppa's Christmas wish had come true too. Mommy Pig took the elf's hat off and secretly put it on Daddy Pig's head. What's that? asked Daddy Pig, reaching up and finding the hat. He looked over at Mommy Pig. It wasn't me, said Mommy Pig, smiling. It must have been the Christmas elf. Ha 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 ho 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 Peppa loves her Christmas elf. Everyone loves Peppa's Christmas elf. The end. Hope you enjoyed that. That was Peppa and the Christmas elf. Subscribe to my channel, press that red button below and follow me where you'll find even more Peppa Pig books in my collection. I also have Hey Dougie books and Bluey books, so do check out my channel. Bye bye for now.